Okay, I'm just quickly continuing where the last tutorial left off because I ran out of space for this last section on encoding. So, here it is. Okay, so I'm done now. I've clicked the configure and I've set it to the X264 codec. I've set it to 2500 on a two pass and I've just left everything else the same. And of course, I've got the filter in to resize it to 720p. Now down in audio, I always choose MP3 lame. Again, I click configure and always leave it on CBR. This means constant bitrate. There is an ABR option, but like uh, VBR and other forms, the bitrate will change over time, which means that you can get syncing errors during the re-encoding. So make sure you leave it on CBR. And here you can change the quality. Because I don't like to spend my entire life uploading, I usually drop the audio to 96 bitrate. Completely unnoticeable to my ears. And I hit OK. And that's it, we're set up. Now, if I hit File, Save, Video, it'll create a single video for the 50 minutes of footage and the video will end up about maybe a little bit under a gigabyte. Now it still sounds very large, but you remember we're talking about 50 minutes here and compared to a total of 55 gigabytes, which is what it stands at now, that's quite a saving and the quality loss will be completely imperceptual. So, that's all well and good, but uh, what say if you're doing a let's play or if you're doing some other form of video footage where you want, you've got like a video but you know, YouTube has a 10 minute length. In my review channel I always make sure that I'm underneath the 10 minute length but there are many cases where you want to just create the video, you just record it, do a live recording, you want to post it, but it goes over 10 minutes. So what you want to do is cut it into sections, and that's very easy to do in this application as well. First, I'll just, uh, let's just uh, delete the current job lists. In File, you have Add to Job List and View Job List, which is what I just did. See, I've got no job stored now. And over here, you've got A and B. So I'm just going to click A to start the start point, and then I just click 10 minutes, like so. And I'm going to click B, and it just highlights this little section. Now, I just go File, Add to Job List. I just call it 1, and I'll just save it to Temp Demo 01. .avi. Now I can just copy that, control C, OK. And what that means, you've now got a batch file set up, so when you run the job, it's just going to process with those settings that we've set up, but only do the first 10 minute chunk. And now I can simply, because it's already at 10 minutes, I can just press A again, and then type in 20, and then press B. File. Add to job list 2, control V, I don't need to go through the process of opening it, change that to 2, and OK. And of course I can continue that for the rest of the file. OK, so now we're done. So if I look at my job list now, I have five files that it's going to create. Each of them are going to be perfect 10 minute length to fit into YouTube, no worries. It's interesting to note though that, uh, like say, say after you've set up all your 10 minute blocks, you're here, right? So you've got A here, and I'm at 46, so if I typed in 56, because that's beyond the end range, nothing will happen. So you can just click this button to jump to the very end of the file, and then hit B. And that is it, that is all you need to do to start encoding, so I can just go File, New job list and just click on run all jobs and bang that's it it is now encoding and in not very long maybe well, 11 minutes of file or so on my computer 
I will have five perfectly organized files ready to upload to YouTube. And each file is going to be about 150 megs. A little bit over actually, it's going to be about 170 or 80 megs. YouTube will always re-encode them to 150 megs for 720p, but you get the point. It's now encoded. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about is how to mix audio music into your game sounds. So you have the gameplay sounds and you have CD quality audio. And this is done by a lot of people when they don't want to do something very complicated, they just want a recording of their awesome gameplay, like say your StarCraft 2 battle or you know your first person shooter fight. Now it's very easy to do and you're going to need a piece of free software called Audacity or something similar. Audacity is just a free web editor, that's all it is. And if you go to the download page, at this current time, 1.3 is in beta still, but that is actually the one you want, even though it's in beta, because that has an audio mixer in it, while 1.2 doesn't. So make sure you have 1.3. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to demo on a little tiny section of Shattered Horizon for a video that I'm doing for my mate's clan. Now, basically I've just got a section of the video selected for the demo. And as you can see, by the way, this is an example of how a lot of games are very, very dark because the gamma isn't burnt directly into the, into the game. So you need to adjust it so the gamma is actually in it. So you can do that using the, uh, go to filters. I mentioned this in the other video, but I'll just demonstrate it now. If you go to colors and there's something called contrast, and you can just bump that up. And in my case, around 20 seems to be a good value for this particular video. And as you can see, it's now much more visible. I'll put up one contrast as well. I'm just gonna okay that and uh, oh, close. And now we've got the filters active. But note, it doesn't change it in this preview window, but it will on the final render. Now, the other thing you have to notice is that I've got audio set to copy. And that is because in the AVI container, we want the audio to stay as a WAV file rather than encoding it to MP3. Otherwise, bringing it into Audacity and all that kind of stuff is going to re-encode it into WAV and then you've got to encode it back into MP3 and it's just gonna be a little bit unnecessary and also possibly create artifacts in the sound. So we just got that set to copy and in configure, I've got it set to what I said before, which is average bitrate, two pass, and 2500. And I'm only doing this little section just for the demo. So let's just save that out. Demo.avi. And then I'll, uh, once this is finished, I'll come through and show you how to do the, the sound mixing. Okay, so that's done. Now, if I play that video, you'll see that not only is it light and nice and easy to see, it has all the game sounds and everything's ready to go, just like I explained in that other original video. Now, once again, I've totally underestimated how much information I had to give. I guess it's, this is the problem with kind of doing it on the fly. So there's going to be one more video and that's going to be it. And I've covered everything that I wanted to say. So. Tune in next time for the final episode on how to actually mix CD quality music and your game sounds. Hope this has been helpful.